Hey everyone, I decided to make a new series. It's kind of like my perspective on things in life and how it applies to our Christian faith. And it's so hot, it's like a heat wave, so excuse the dewiness. <laughs> I'm gonna go straight into it. The other day I was on a trip to Wolverhampton so that was a good few hours. I ended up writing quite a few blogs I'll call them which are going to turn into videos right here. I'm going to start with this one it's called Following Celebrities and it just so happened that one of our speakers at our church spoke on something quite similar recently so I thought yeah let's do this. I used to watch X Factor quite a while ago now. It was around the time that Leona Lewis came on the show. If you guys know she has accumulated so much success from winning the UK X Factor. Anyway to me she was the best like in the whole world when she was at her peak so for me she's someone that I'm gonna probably mention quite a lot in this video <laughs> so if you don't really like her voice this video is gonna be a bit tricky for you to follow let's go to her first audition she had raw talent she had been gigging and stuff like that so she knew how to control her voice as well she was just shy and I could relate to that being shy but having to push through that because if you know your gift your skill and you're using it for God you must push through and get that courage from Christ and go and do it because you're doing it for him I know this is for a secular competition so with coaching from music mogul Simon Cowell she developed and she had adjusted herself and was the favorite to win and she just turned into this world-class artist every week I watched her her singing was flawless and faultless and I remember when she got noticed in America and everything was just kind of like wow Leona Leona. I also think she was quite humble about her singing ability. She was always surprised when she got through. Um, I don't think she was pretending. I think genuinely she was surprised and so grateful. I don't think she was proud about her ability. I can't comment on her spiritual life or anything other than her vocal ability because you know she had to dress how they dressed her. She had to do choreography according to what she was um, told I guess. I can't comment on any of that just on her voice is what I had focused on. So I like that she had a style um, she always started soft and quite a lot in her falsetto and then she would build it up and by the end like it would keep you waiting till the end because she would either bring out this really high note or this really high ad-lib or a really long high note and it would just leave people on their feet um, you know the standing ovation at the time I, I really did admire her gift and quite soon after she had won the competition so my question is knowing all that about what I thought about Leona Lewis what happens when I start wanting to sing like her is that wrong because she used to do whistle notes like Mariah Carey I used to be like will I ever be able to do whistle notes and I still can't yet but maybe yeah, one day. Um, I've never wanted to sing or sound exactly like someone else because that's not the point of a gift or a talent. It's especially for you to use for God uniquely, like only you have that exact style. But I think it's okay to admire someone's talent or gift because I believe God's given them that, whether they believe in God or not, to use that for God. So I do believe that's a God-given gift to Leona Lewis. But instead of me wanting to be like her, look like her, dress like her, sing like her, or have fame and success like her, it just challenged me to practice as much as she did and to have goals that would mean I could push myself to reach these high belted notes which I usually try to incorporate in a lot of my solos so what I'm saying is I think it's okay to take the good from the neutral things in people of the world but not to elevate it and put it on a platform like everyone look let's follow by example of this person. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about now. But when it becomes an obsession, like people do plastic surgery to look like they're celebrities. They dress and they spend a lot of money when they're obsessed with celebrities. So that is like an extreme side of admiring a person. And remember, they are just people. So we need to be careful who we're admiring and what for and why. And especially as believers, do they believe in Christ? Do they actually follow Christ? Do they obey his commandments in everything that they do? So instead of idolizing celebrities and footballers, singers, actors, we should have down-to-earth mentors or people that you can keep in contact with who follow the word, who are strong in their faith and are not 
shaken who can help you out in your walk and if you can find like a prayer partner or a mentor as i said a spiritual mentor find one pray for it and god will provide that and it will just be such a blessing and someone that you can depend on spiritually it's nice to have that accountability as well so wrapping up the point of following celebrities i do think we really need to be on guard and watching out for ourselves what are we letting in through our eyes what are we watching what are the people wearing what are they doing that we are watching and letting inside us or what are we hearing what are the what are the words they're speaking is it foul language are they gossiping are they joking about evil things and we're just letting it in mindlessly but the bible does say it's what comes out of a man that defiles him though i wouldn't say test it and say go and watch an evil movie but control yourself to not say or think something wrong i would say just guard your ears guard your mouth and where your heart is because when you're following celebrities a list or z list whatever it is even people you really admire who are not famous so whatever you let inside you whatever comes out it has to glorify god you know say it out loud and rebuke say in out loud if you've admired a footballer from the world cup and you want to work on it do it for god do it because i want to meet people and tell them about god i want to get really good at football and reach a whole heap of famous footballers for christ i don't know the possibilities are endless of how you can be a light shining through all sorts of skills god's given each one of us at least one skill one talent and whatever it is use it for god but build it up build it up we have to keep working on it submitting it to god and telling god that this is for you i thank you for this gift help me to grow in it and to be the best that i can and we must aim for perfection while we are on earth because we cannot stand still but i think we'll be held accountable for how we've used our talents and you must 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 do your best with it practice with it and be humble with it not to put others down because others are not as good as you you could be really good at memorizing bible scriptures we're not going to show off about that you're going to use those scriptures to bless someone in your everyday life use those scriptures to evangelize rather than say i know the whole bible look at me <laughs> so whatever we do whatever skill we have let's build ourselves for christ because he's the one who's given us that skill and that gift to use for him we're a vessel which we're, we're just empty without him he's filled us and we've got to use everything for him for his glory not just on a church sunday service but in our everyday life over social media this is now becoming a big part of our everyday life as well whatever impact we have with people all over the world let's give god our best so i hope you enjoyed this video kind of perspective of what good you can take from following celebrities and famous people and the danger of it as well and i hope you'll click that like button you can comment below your opinions and click subscribe if you are not subscribed to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye